Okay, this is Popcorn 1010. I'm about to show you how to animate. First, open up the paint program. And first, you have to make what you'll be animating. In my case, I'm going to make a random anime chicken thingy. So I first have to use my magnifying glass tool so I can zoom in so I can get more details into it. It's a quick sketch. You don't have to take your time on it. This is your first animation, so it doesn't matter. You just quickly color it in. No big deal. In my case, I like making my cartoons with light blue eyes, so that's what I'll be choosing. I messed up first on the mouth, but see, just press undo and try again. And that's a bit of chin. It's double chin, actually, base. Yes. And you'll be having a skinny necked random chicken thingy. And you just add the wings. And you're almost done. Add the feet. Just finish up. No need to waste time on making it look good because animation is very hard if it's a very confusing picture. And there is our random chicken thingy. We just need to color it and we'll be done with the drawing part. And color its feet. Coloring mine orange feet for the chicken thingy. And we're done with our chicken. Now we just need to move on to the animation process. So save it. I'm saving mine as chicken underscore thingy. I'm opening up my animation software, which is Uli GIF Animator. It's very good if you're a beginner because it goes by frames. And I love this program and you can get a free trial at it at download.com. So it's very good. I use it. Okay, so now that we have our animation up and running, we need to click on open image and check for the image that we just saved. There it is. Chicken thingy. There it is. It's in a frame. Good. But animations go by more than one frame, so we have to add more. And there's our one frame. So you click add frame. Add frame. Just keep on adding until you need what you want. I'll just add a few. I probably will need more later, so I'll add those later. Okay, so I have about like five frames in there. And this is the point where I have to edit it. I'm going to edit where it will blink. It's, that's it. It's the first animation you should know is blinking. It's very easy. <clears throat> you first want the skin tone color, but I like making eye I like to make the um eyelids darker, so I chose a darker color so you can see it. And you don't want to instantly make it down all the way because it won't appear right. You want it to have a little bit of movement to where it looks just a tiny bit realistic. You don't want it fully open and fully closed in one frame. You want to have some frames where they halfway close, halfway open, like this. And what I'm doing is just adding, saving as, and this keep on adding to each save. So it's chicken underscore thingy two, chicken underscore thingy three, etc. Depending on how realistic you want, you can go on for a lot. But I'll be fast with this, and I'll probably only go up to eight or so. So you just color that in. And save it. And it wouldn't matter, you just color all that in, it doesn't matter. Okay, so after you say that, now you have all your frames, what are you supposed to do? You go back to the animation program, there it is right there. 
go back to animation program and add those pictures, copy and paste them, or in, well, actually insert them into each frame. <coughs> so you add one by one, chicken underscore thingy to frame one, chicken underscore thingy two to frame two, and so on and so on. So there's all my frames right there I've saved. And what this does is it puts them into frames, then you can play them and see what they would turn out to be. So, very good program. And that's trying to be a need for frames, so you just add frames, no prop. If you add too much, you can just simply right click and delete. And now that we have all of them, they're right there. Well, like, hmm, six, seven frames, not good, not much. And you press preview, it shows you how it moves, and voila! You have a ra random blinking chicken right there. And to see more of my little animations and stuff like that, and blinkies, etc., you can go to my photo bucket account, Popcorn1010. Hope you like it. See ya.